Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, this time, I want to share with you. Uh, been honing on this one stone that just came uh, to me, and I just wanted you guys to check it out. I already have, I think, my last video shaving video. I shave uh, with a razor that I hone with it. Or I finish. Is that a as a post finisher? Uh, so here it is. This stone is a rough cut. Uh, the guy usually cuts them nice and neat and straight, laps them for you and everything. But I wanted a stone that it was a rough cut because I wanted to lap it myself. Uh, not too crazy, obviously. Uh, but enough where I had to do some work on it and that will give me a, a sense of how how hard this stone was and all that stuff so so far it's a very interesting stone if you see these spots right there that's me uh, I marked it with some uh, some of sharpie why did I do that is because I'm lazy and I didn't want to keep lapping this is probably the hardest stone I have ever lapped uh, this and in, in my one of my translucent uh, Arkansas uh, man what a nightmare <laughs> I think that's the last time I do that so this is not my stone this is a, a lend uh, uh, it's borrowed to me or lend it to me and I uh, if I like it obviously I can buy it because I already have it here so I'm checking it out so the first hone that I did with it uh, the first time I used it to hone anything let's check it out um, it's uh, I use it after uh, three in and performed well. It it made it sharper than than it was. It as a polisher, it works great. So, or as a post finisher, to call it one way, it's a very interesting stone. Uh, I have no idea what it's uh, made out of, but uh, the owner calls them crystal. And there's a reason for that, right? It's a super hard stone, and I'm gonna use some honing oil. Uh, this one is water soluble, uh, so that's why I use the Smiths. Uh, so he calls them crystal, uh, crystal hones. And once you hear how it, <laughs> how it sounds when they, when you hone, you're gonna get an idea of why. So those red spots, I've kind of. Those are lower spots that uh, they're not gonna affect me at all, and I am not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna lap it anymore. So I'm gonna keep honing on this razor, right? So the other one that I did, I used it as a post finisher. This one, uh, the guy told me that you can use it right after the 1K. So I'm not trying to call you a liar, Gabriel, but so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying it. Check this out. You hear that? It's like honing on, on, on a piece of glass. It's the most quiet stone I have ever honed with. It's quieter than, than, a, than a translucent Arkansas. Oh. Uh, my Arkansas usually have a a wisp, which I like, and I can gauge according to the sound how I'm doing. This one doesn't. Nothing. And that is so different <laughs> than any other... Uh, stone that I, I have ever honed with um, I don't know very interesting so I already reset the bevel on this razor this is a gold dollar so uh, it is for testing homes and stuff like that uh, a lot of you guys already know that I don't like gold dollars and I think they suck but 
they have their purpose and this is the purpose that I give them they're great for testing and uh, for honing on new stones and to honing your skills uh, that's what they're good for in my opinion I'm gonna dry this a little bit so when I when I uh, took it after the 1k there was some resistance on the stone uh, there's a, a quite a bit of resistance which is very bizarre uh, because the first time I honed with it I was using it as a post finisher uh, and this felt extremely different after the 1k uh, in a matter of maybe two three minutes at that speed at this speed the resistance went away and it got really smooth so I started looking under the scope uh, and holy crap man I I think that Gabriel is right I possibly can use this after a 1k now I've been going at it for a while and uh, it's not as fun <laughs> if you have to go you know two hours honing with it after a 1k so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using it after the 1k to see what I get out of it see the range um, the next stone that I the next racer I'm gonna do I'm gonna do after an 8k or after a 3k um, just to see Probably after an AK to see. So I have shaving off out of my AK so I can gauge it really well. Uh, the improvement. So. Just want to bring it close so you guys can hear that. Or not hear it. So this is very interesting stone. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it uh, I'll be shaving with this racer or trying to shave with this racer here soon and see how it goes and doing some more testing with it see how uh, how it goes I'm gonna post a link under uh, to show you guys where you can get these type of stones or more information on the stones if you guys uh, are interested very very, very interesting stone these are natural stones from I don't know where this guy's from um, I don't know Colorado I think and uh, I'm gonna post the link to the Facebook page where all those these there's several guys that have stones that they uh, cut and, and, and produce themselves uh, you guys can check it out and then I'm gonna post also the Etsy page for Gabriel Warren he's the one who does this stones and uh, he provides services for honing as well never shaving with one of his razors so I cannot say how good they are or how bad they are <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that he's a good guy, so he'll hook you up. Uh, that's it for now. I mean, I don't want to bore you anymore with the same strokes or anything like that. So uh, I'm getting a little bit of stickiness at the end here, which is nice, I guess. Um, <laughs> So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna start looking at it under my microscope and everything, and then I'll shave with it. Then I'll do another, some more videos on it. But just let me know what you think about the stone or any of my videos. I always appreciate thumbs up. You guys have a good one. Keep honing.